So everyone, we are finishing up Mass Effect 3 today. We have our final mission. We are making our approach on the um, Catalyst to take down the Reapers or control the Reapers or do, whatever, or do something about the Reapers once and for all. Go through our last little big codex hit. Contram. Yeah, it's called communication time with Entram, but that's from earlier. Ball of Thessia. Time for the big push. Surrender Cerberus. All that's left now is Zurich. We ready? Hell yes. Put me in a shuttle. I don't want to tell my grandkids that I spent the war guarding the door. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of funny. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Oh, a nice getting email from Grace. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. Your credit to your uniform, Samantha. I had a very compelling example. I hope it will get you and your toothbrush out of this intact. Let's do. Heard of this? It's time to do the um, Nelson walkthrough. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill, going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! <laughs> the implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. <laughs> while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Remember our first run to Eden Prime all those years ago? With that Torian Specter watching us? Nihilus. Yeah, I told you that mission was going to be bigger than we thought. I think you can mark that prediction down as accurate. And now we're heading back to Earth. Is this mission going to be bigger than we thought, too? Man, I hope not. A nice routine delivery run would be fine with me. It's been an honor, Commander. Same here, Joker. I don't know how it's going to end, but whatever happens. What do you mean, whatever happens? Everyone knows what's going to happen. You're going to kick some Reaper ass. That's what you do. Well, that part's... And I'll be flying you there in style. That part's a given. It's what happens after I kick the Reaper ass. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunition is loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. How's your focus, Edie? 
Any big questions? No. Any small questions? No. Any lingering issues? About what? An imperfect designer who could be seen as a warped father figure, maybe? Definitely not. Did something prompt this line of questioning? I've just learned you have to ask about these things. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All right. <clears throat> but with Liara. Let's talk to Dr. Dr. Chuck was too. You've come a long way since those days under Captain Anderson. It has been my great honor to be with you through this journey. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Shepard. And good luck. Cerberus is well and truly gone. I, I don't want to get into it again, but I'm glad you had a hand in shutting them down for good. Felt... right, you know? Never thought I'd see the end of Cerberus. Good riddance. We did some good over there. Commander? I hope Kaiden got more... Kaiden actually got more dialogue in his version. Dr. Liara, are there any Shatter Broker updates that are missing? There is new information on the private messages terminal. Aha! A. Reynolds. Is that an Alistair Reynolds reference? <laughs> you went out. Nope. How are you doing, Liara? Fine. I'm more worried about you than I am me. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Just tell me when you're ready to go. Just say the word. All right. Let's make talk to Garrus and make sure everything's calibrated. <laughs> uh, I, I, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye, and... Uh, <laughs> uh, I uh, think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. <laughs> it might have... finally killed Lieutenant Bastard Kai Lang. I just hope we get to do the same to his general. It's kind of amazing how everything's come full circle. <clears throat> the Citadel's been the center of galactic civilization, a reaper trap, and my source of employment for a long time. And 
now it's our salvation for any chance at winning this war. I think it's time we got you back home, Shepard. Earth will either be remembered as the place we beat the Reapers, or it'll be a smoking ruin for the next cycle to wander about. Kill us a lie, Shepard. Indeed. Kill us a lie, Shepard. Not right now. That saying seems even more appropriate considering it means by the homeland I hope to see one day. Oh, I met Tali already. <laughs> I thought I'd have to go to the bedroom to see Tali. Shepard, Beckenstein. It was right next door to the Citadel. Was? Was. Damn. I'm sorry. The Reapers didn't even land on it to harvest. Just took a few shots from space. You know, because the Reapers hit industrial centers. And we have factories that make binoculars. Had factories. We're gonna beat them. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're looping dialogue. It was right next door to the Citadel. Was? Was. I wanted, to, I wanted to leave in the middle of the conversation. Just didn't even land on it to harvest. Just took a few shots from space. You know, because the Reapers hit industrial centers. And we have factories that make binoculars. Had factories. We're gonna beat them. Yeah. Let's talk to our friendly neighborhood Protheon. <clears throat> Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Asari are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. <laughs> That's fair. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone, but so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, Seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive. Yeah. That would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the ice canals of Judah IV, the 
Palisades of the Veroma Jeric. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet, we extinguished. We fought back. I... You okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. It was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. Sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That... must have been... Damn. It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Oh god, really, Donnelly? Was there any moaning? In your dreams, Kenneth. Good luck with the assault. Wish I was joining you. No, you don't. I've seen you shoot. Fine. Then I wish I could shoot better. Then I wish I was joining you. Take care, Shepard. You too, Donnelly. Commander, the Normandy is as ready as she'll ever be. That goes double for my team. We're prepared for whatever hits us. And Commander, Whatever happens today, it has been an honor and privilege to serve with you. The honor's been mine, Adams. Give them hell, man. You got it. And let's head down and talk to our um, shuttle pilot. <clears throat> and our bro. Cross-checking our parts inventory. Good to see you, Commander. Nothing to say before we go off to death and glory. James? Sticking it to that bastard Kai Ling must have felt good. It certainly I think you were there for that. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm going to make those Reapers pay for everything they've done. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Okay. Let's do this. More on our messages. The Irish wake, but not as sober and reserved. Alright, so I'm going to do a record break here, and then we'll begin the mission.